Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days to the Lord. On the first day there shall be a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it. For seven days you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. On the eighth day you shall have a holy convocation, and you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. It is a sacred assembly, and you shall do no customary work on it. Also, on the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when you have gathered in the fruit of the land, you shall keep the feast of the Lord for seven days. On the first day, there shall be a Sabbath rest, and on the eighth day, a Sabbath rest. And you shall take for yourselves on the first day the fruit of beautiful trees, branches of palm trees, the boughs of leafy trees, and willows of the brook. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God for seven days. You shall keep it as a feast to the Lord for seven days in the year. It shall be a statute forever in your generations. You shall celebrate it in the seventh month. You shall dwell in booths for seven days. All who are native Israelites shall dwell in booths, that your generations may know that I made the children of Israel dwell in booths when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Hi guys, I uh, just wanted to show you what we've done for Sukkot this year. Um, last year we just set a tent up inside our basement. It's very wet and cold and rainy this time of year. So last year was our first Sukkot. We didn't really know what to do, so we just set up one of our tents in the basement. Um, I built a little structure on the porch, and I threw some branches from our trees over it, and it didn't work very well. Um, I had some sheets up. It was soaking wet. It was cold. We only got to stay in it for one day. Um, it was actually the eighth day. So this year we planned ahead, and we got one of these structures, and I just wanted to walk you through and show you what we did. So... To try and follow the command as close as possible, we went to uh, Hobby Lobby and picked up some fruiting plants and some decorations and we just decorated the inside of our little pavilion, um, our suka, with fruiting plants, you know, green things. Last year, like I said, we cut down some branches um, from our trees in the yard. We don't have any real fruiting trees. Um, so I just cut down some green branches and we threw them on the roof and by the end we couldn't eat under it by the end of the week because all of the, the leaves were crumbling. We have a lot of pine so there were needles like every time the wind blew falling in your hair and on your plates. So this year we decided to go with plastic decorations. Um, I do have some branches over here that need to be cut so I think that I may by the end of the week here um, Cut a few of the branches off of this tree and use them for decoration um, just so I have some from some sort of tree. It's not a fruiting tree, it's the best we could really do. Our apple tree out there, the one fruiting tree we have, there's no green left on it. So <laughs> we're just doing the best we can. But yeah, so that's our Harrington family Sukkot Suka for 2021. Uh, hope we give you some ideas, you know. It's the best you can do. Just try to obey the Father's commands. And all I can say is blessings to you. And may God shine his face upon you. Shalom.